when a woman cheats on a man, it's 100% unacceptable. She's pretty much dead to you guys. And I want you guys out there that are listening to, to the podcast, you need to understand that when a woman cheats on you, she has to get to a certain place mentally to be able to do it where it's irreparable now. You know what I'm saying? I always say when a woman, if you cheat on a woman, it's not the same as, I, I mean, I always, it's not even cheating as a guy. It's for exercising options. And I know some of you guys are going, oh, what the fuck? This is some fucked up shit. But I'll explain what I mean by that. Women are not built to be promiscuous they're just not there's a reason why they can only can bring one child to term per year and you can father a million kids if you have a million women to bang like sperm and sheep eggs are expensive so if a woman cheats on you she has to get to a certain place mentally to do it mm -hmm. so if she does cheat on you you need to break up with her immediately there's no if ands or buts i'll take her back none of mm -hmm. that shit you you get rid of her and i'll tell you this every time i've heard a guy take a girl back you know what happens she cheats on him again you want to know why? Because women love much differently than men do. She's got to respect you first, guys. And if she cheats on you, she effectively does not respect you anymore. And if you take her back, she definitely doesn't fucking respect you. And she's going <laughs> to cheat on you again. Because I agree. Because what you've told her when you take her back is, Hey, listen, my value is so low as a man that the cardinal sin that you're committing against me, adultery, which is the one thing that men really give a fuck about when it comes to women. Let's be honest. Like... You cannot cook. You could be a shitty cleaner. You can not be the, the, the nicest woman, whatever it is. If you're attractive, and, and, and you'll find a guy. But if you cheat, that's what's going to burn every guy's soul. Okay, she sucked another dude's dick and put it in his brain so it burns him. Because whether women want to accept it or not, a guy thinking in his mind that a woman is having sex with another dude or sucking another guy off, it burns in their brain. It, it, just, it, just, it just sucks. You know what I'm saying? That's why porn stars can never have relationships, really. Because... Their husband will always see videos of them getting plowed by Jamal and seven other black dudes. They can't do it. They can't take it. So, BBC. Men look at women from a territorial standpoint. That is definitely a train. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Choo -choo. <laughs> Your value is not based on the bitch that you can attract. Yep. Your value is based on what value do you bring to society. And if you guys don't fucking believe me, why are there so many ugly niggas that are rich and famous that get bitches without even trying? Facts. Because their value Shot is determined fresh. by the value that they bring to the fucking society. Not to the girls that they fucking get, guys. There's a reason why there's fucking Twitch streamers that are ugly as shit, that are losers, Skinny. whatever it is you guys want to say, they're bringing value to the fucking world. And guess what happens? There's bitches that want to suck their dick that are bad. Why? Because a woman's value is determined on what kind of caliber of man that she can attract. If the man can bring value to society, he's a high value man because the market decides his value. The woman's value is determined by the man's value. Your value is not determined by some bitch. Stop thinking that your value is determined by some fucking bitch, guys. If we get de fucking demonetized, I don't care. A lot of y'all niggas care way too much about what bitches think about you. Fuck the bitches. The world determines your value based on the value that you bring to it, man. Goddamn. Shit. Voice Stop basing nice. your value on bitches, man. Their value is determined on if they can get you, not the other way around, bro. There's a reason why these chicks are going to share you. You don't share them. You're the fucking prize, man. There's a reason why if you're a king and you marry some bum bitch, she becomes a queen, but it never works the other way around. Women don't build, they move in. Okay? Stop chasing after bitches, chase after your success. Then the bitches will come. You see how many ugly rappers are getting their dick sucked by bad bitches, three of them at a time, making these rap songs? Why? Because they were in the booth, going hard as fuck, making the music. They made the music, brought value to the world, then guess what happens? Sluts come to them. That's what you want. You don't chase them, they chase you, man. God damn. My, my, my shit. Because I don't want guys f focusing their life on women, man. I don't yeah. want guys hurting themselves over women. Yeah. There's dudes out here that are killing themselves over women that don't give a fuck about you. I just told you guys, they're designed to look for the best, so you become the best. Man. <laughs> We're different. Oh, my goodness. We're different. It's We're different. different in every regard. I, I don't know how else to explain this. We're different in every regard. It's, why are it's, we not equal? Why are we not equal? I'll tell you why we're not equal. Biologically, we're not equal. You can have children. I can fight. Right? We're different. Do you agree that we're biologically different, or yes. do you think you're as strong as men? No, of course not. Okay, well, there you go then. So there we go. So we already have a biological difference. So, like, you're difference. the protector, and I'm, like, the birth. Well, no, giver. we have a biological difference, and if you have a certain biology, wouldn't you agree that your biology lends to your mentality? Mm, right. Okay, so we have a different biology and a different mentality. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay, so we're not equal. Mm. <laughs> Done. Next. I have a quick question. Next question. Next question. <laughs>
And here's another thing too. I'm gonna piss the ladies off again. Yo, <laughs> ladies, you so might not mad. like this, but I'm gonna say so it. Sorry. You are never gonna be able to sexually satisfy your guy by yourself. I'm gonna say that again. Facts. You are never Fall down, Mark. gonna be Depends. able to sexually satisfy a guy, your Ooh, guy, no by right. yourself. I love to hear like, oh my god. <laughs> what was that? And that's fine. Robin? You must not know about me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Delusional. It depends what? on What's who the girl is. Yeah, go ahead, Con. Go ahead. Have you ever been cheated on before? Shit. <laughs> you have, must not know about that. You must not know about that. You must not know about that. <laughs> he still wanted me, but he wanted other people. I was the main chick. That's the that's point. The point. That's, that's the point. That's the point. Yo, everything comes with choices. If you want a faithful said, nigga, get a nigga who depends on you, who's gonna stay at home and be a bitch. Don't try to do that. All that. Don't try to do that.